Now at 11 and the newly released video showing the moments that led up to a man going overboard off Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas. CBS 4's David Sutter joins us live from downtown Miami. What does the video show, David? Well, it is pretty interesting to see all of this. Royal Caribbean up to now has basically told us that this man willingly went overboard, that they did everything to try and save him. Now we're hearing from an attorney that's saying that this man's motive to go overboard was actually a protest. For the first time, we are hearing and seeing Bernardo Albaz moments before he went overboard from Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas. This is being broadcasted, actually. This is going straight to my server. In the video recorded by Bernardo and his husband, Eric, we see them being confronted by ship security following neighbors' guest complaints. The incident appears calm, but moments later... Bernardo would be clinging to the ship, eventually falling to his death. Tuesday, El Baz's attorney claimed the video proves Bernardo didn't try to kill himself, as Broward Sheriff's Office has ruled. This was not a domestic dispute. This was not a suicide. This was an act of protest. This was an act of protest based on the way that this legally gay, legally married couple was being mistreated by Royal Caribbean. Attorney Mike Winkleman believes the video explains why his client went overboard willingly because he was upset by gay slurs made by the crew. I have a husband. I'm not a pedophile. In the two minutes of video, that is the only statement of substance. It's clear he's intoxicated and unclear how things escalated. Some light may come from another clip, 38 minutes long, that apparently the attorney is going to be releasing sometime tomorrow. We'll wait to see what that looks like, but uh, according to what they're telling us, is Bernardo took out his phone and recorded for 38 minutes, put that phone down, and then jumped overboard. Again, stick with CBS4. We'll bring you the latest as we get it. Live in downtown Miami, David Sutter, CBS4 News tonight.